obviously congratulations on the DVD release. And you know, how how was it tr with the cast of B Girl? Um, it was amazing. I mean, I had so much fun, and they were so dedicated. So, like one of one of the sort of secret stories of B Girl, it's not that secret, just unknown, is that of Jules's crew, uh, Jules had five guys who were her in her crew, and four of them were Gwen Stefani's four male backup dancers. She had only four, and it was four of my five dancers, and they were shooting at the same time as we were shooting B Girl, and so they had two breaks. One at the 4th of July, one at Labor Day. 4th of July, we did all of our rehearsals. We did a week straight of rehearsals. And then over Labor Day week, we were going to shoot two weeks solid. And so literally, they came off a plane from Gwen Stefani, and at 9 the next morning, they were in the wardrobe trailers doing fittings. And we shot them until the very last day. The last day, we finished shooting B-Girl. We finished shooting with Flea Rock, and with Legacy, and with Stilo, and with Remedy. They left our set at 11.30, and they got on a plane to Singapore, I think, or maybe it was Germany at 4 p.m. to rejoin Gwen's tour. What's it like yeah. having dancers that are that dedicated? Because some people, that's a lot of work. <laughs> it was awesome. This is Emily, the director sister, and director. Right? My sister, the writer. You look identical. Thank you. No, we have to work on that. <laughs> no, well, it's great because um, I could use her ID when I was underage. <laughs> oh, we there we go. That, that's, that's what I did, so it's okay. <laughs> on camera for the rest of time. We are both of legal age now. Okay. So I was going to say, if we see you with a drink tonight, you're not 21 yet, we'll dive in front of you. Very, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very flattering, by the way. Uh, well, I mean, the, the level of professionalism of our dancers was was what made B-Girl possible. I mean, it was what made B-Girl as amazing as it is, because they brought something that, like, literally oh, uh, a handful of people in the whole world bring that skill, energy, commitment to the table, and it's really a testament to them. The success of the film is absolutely... It, a credit to them and and the the love of the of the dance and the and the acting that they brought and to flips who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight but um, our choreographer who was really responsible for um, bringing uh, introducing us to a lot of the main cast and and making sure that they were promoted as as the best people and I saw them and and we really recognized their skills it was amazing and how did you guys decide to make this film how, are you former dancers is this something you were interested in like how did you guys pick B girl well we both always loved dance and it's always been a huge part of our lives but what really happened is that there was this uh, kind of uh, serendipitous aha moment where we were at the Mission Street Fair in San Francisco which is where we used to live and saw a break crew performing and there were girls that were breaking and it was kind of like oh my god I didn't even know women could do this and then very soon after that we moved down to LA and started going to underground events and this was back when the scene was really really underground like before America's Best Dance Crew or So You Think You Can Dance um, and Every time I saw a, girl, a woman in the circle, not a girl, uh, I would kind of grab her and say, like, talk to me, tell me your story, because I'm so fascinated by women who do amazing things and women in a male-dominated world I could really relate to as, you know, being in the film industry. <laughs> Um, and it just grew and very early on we met Lady Jules. Somebody was like, you have to talk to this woman and we just hit it off so much that we were thinking, you know, maybe let's try to maybe make a short film and we did the short film yeah, and we, we shot a short film also called B-Girl and that was really successful and I think um, the first thing we realized before we even finished editing it, we were like, well, well that's not enough. We're not done. Like, they're, they're, we haven't told the story, right? We haven't, we're not going to be able to, a short film's a wonderful thing, but we, you cannot reach the same kind of audiences and so we immediately st went to work saying let's yeah. let's find a feature let's make this possible and we've been extraordinarily blessed that both on the short and on the feature a lot of people took a lot of risks on us a lot of people in hip-hop said okay we you're coming new to this and we will trust you with our stories we will trust you with our community and we're extraordinarily blessed like we cannot we, we cannot thank enough the people that have stood by us and have stood up for us and said okay you know we let them come in and tell our stories let them make a movie that they're gonna call B-Girl and have that be legitimate